inside a camera Maybe in another life Some will get it right Some will get it wrong
Awesome. Thanks for coming in. So uh, before we get into into nostalgia and your uh, long-awaited full length or new full length, <laughs> uh, let's talk about how the honor guest gets got started. Yeah, yeah. So me and uh, well, the three of us played in a band in college called Milo. That was uh, like a like a big guitar grunge band kind of in, uh, indie jam band in today's term. Is that what? It's terrible. It's a terrible phrase for it. But uh, yeah, that ended after college, and then me and Andrew got into kind of doing some home recording stuff, and Jeremy was still around. And then we met Patrick. Well, we put out a record, and then we met Patrick, and Patrick started playing with us, and then we did a bunch of stuff. And then we met Elise a month ago, and that's pretty much where pretty much catches you up. So how did you guys evolve from this indie jam band <laughs> into the honored guest? I mean, those, those seem like two completely different things. Yeah, it wasn't really it wasn't really a jam band. There was nothing really. There was a lot of guitar solos, but there wasn't like a lot of improv or anything really. Um, but I think when we got done doing that, we just we wanted to do pop more something more pop, something with choruses. I think when we were like twenty, we were worried about trying to be like Radiohead or something, you know, and like making something really. Sort of, I don't know, heavy, but and 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 I don't know what, difficult maybe, <laughs> and uh, and then we sort of it sort of became not fun to do stuff like that, and we were like, oh, let's make some songs that have choruses and things. Mm -hmm. So now yeah. uh, your last release was that 2006. Yeah. Is that now uh, what happened between 2006 and now that four years later you you released right. the in the Into Nostalgia EP. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we put out we put out the record in 2006 and we toured. A lot, um, like we made it to see it from like from here to Seattle and back, and and a lot of other places in between. And um, I think we, I don't know, we just kept doing that. We started working on this on the on the record that we're getting ready to put out. We started working on it right after we finished the last one, and so that was 2000, 2006. And we just kept playing a lot of shows and got I don't know. Everybody started doing other other stuff, you know, life life yeah. stuff got in the way. Poor and tired. Right, Andrew was in school, and Jeremy took a different job, and I had a different job, and Patrick started Aminal, and uh, things just kind of slowed down, but but now it's kind of uh, coming back together, right? At least we're still in high school, I think. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so uh, into nostalgia. Was this all material that you were working on, like right after two thousand six, or is this all new material? Uh, leading up to the to the full length, right? No, the, yeah, the full length, the music for the full length, most of it has been done for a long time, for like a couple of years. We haven't really tracked a lot of instruments for those songs. It's like it's it's like a way that we the way that we used to work was we would the way that I used to work, which doesn't work anymore for me, was was that we would get together and practice and like and like come up with all these sort of musical sort of things, and I would sit there and try to figure out what to sing, but then. Once we started putting it, putting all those things sort of onto the tape or onto our computer, in our case, like I just kind of we ha we had this mountain of material that I didn't have any words or any singing or anything for, and and uh, and that stuff and that stuff I feel really good about those songs now, and that's what we're gonna release in a few months. But like when uh, when we got approached to do the the VR presents thing, the the, the reason why we ended up doing it to nostalgia was for the vinyl records sort of crew at UNC. Um, when, we, when they asked us to do it, originally we were going to do like some B-sides from, from, from the record that we're going to put out in a couple months, and then I started writing some other stuff, and I didn't really feel like putting out some songs that I didn't really necessarily want to put on, on our record. Yeah. I didn't really want to put all those out just as a, as a thing for it to be our first thing after four years. So I had started writing some other things, and then I kind of, I got, that was just in February, and we, me and Patrick kind of started working on them and brought them to Andrew, and everybody kind of came in and c just came together. I mean... Yeah, we did it. We did the EP in like two months, and just like you know, light speed in, right. in our term. So, so how do those songs differ from what we what people can expect on the full length? Uh, full length they're, is they're much more sparse. Yeah. That's for sure. It doesn't sound like it necessarily on the recording, but in terms of I, I mixed all the songs and uh, record them. So I think that in terms of the number of tracks that are on Into Nostalgia, they're many less, um, whereas on Please Try Again is much more production, like, I mean. There's a lot, there's a lot going on on the, yeah. on the, on the when we Yeah, when we started, I, the kind of thing with our band in terms of songwriting has always been, whatever we put out next has to sound completely different than the last thing we did, and I think we do that with songs as well, we try to at least, and I think that once we got 
deep into please try again we had a mountain of like twenty five to thirty songs i think russ probably said to himself that it was time to do something a little more simple and a little faster and i think that 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 ended up working out well and so when please try again comes out i think it's more of a production even if it doesn't sound like one it certainly was on our end so that's the thing that stands out to me at least there's a lot more guitar on it there's a lot more electric guitar like when we did the ep it was like me and patrick in my house him playing keyboard little keyboard things kind of whatever we had immediately in front of us and like making the parts up sort of that way rather than like you know making this gigantic sort of production and throwing the kitchen sink at every song which is kind of what we did for, for please try again although i think now it's kind of kind of paired some of that stuff back mm -hmm. so. so uh please try again uh you and i were talking earlier and you said that you're ready to just get that out i mean you've been working on it for a while now um, I mean, are you eager to get in and start writing and putting out new, like newer stuff to you guys? I know this is all new material to the listener, but right. I mean, this is stuff you guys have been playing for a while now yourselves. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm definitely anxious to get it, to get it done and out there. I mean, it's mostly done. Like, it's literally, we literally have to finish just a handful more songs and, and just the vocals. The music's all done, so I just have to kind of go in and, and knock a few songs out. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, I'm, ex I'm excited to have. It. I've, I've, I think I told, I told somebody recently. I was like. You know, I, I think I've probably gone from, from like thinking that we were gonna make this like perfect, awesome sort of pop record to like thinking that I hated it the whole thing and like, and we shouldn't release it to like thinking now that it's gonna be, you know, it's actually gonna be pretty good. It just kind of got lost in the, in the middle of making it, you know, and and uh, you know now it's now I'm, I'm I'm excited about it. But I'm also excited about getting it done, getting it out, and then putting something else out not not too long after, which is something we've been talking about doing. Russ, Russ claims they're going to put out three releases this year, and I don't see how there's any way that's going to happen. But I mean, how did we how did we do the EP in like two months? If we put out if we put out the full length at, at the end of August, we're it talking about throat. <laughs> that's, that's the idea. <laughs> so uh, what is next for you guys? Are you hitting the road? What are you doing after uh, the album comes out? Yeah, hopefully it'll come out at the very end of August, and then we. Yeah, I mean, we played our first show last Saturday. We played our first show in Chapel Hill since November, and that show in November was our first show, and it, it was our first show in Chapel Hill in like a year and a half. Um, we're gonna play more. We'll be playing more now that we have now that like at least in the band and like we're kind of getting back to like sort of rehearsing some and and doing it live rather than I feel like there was a couple of years basically where we were just where it was like studio project and that was it and we weren't really doing much of of sort of getting together as a band and, and playing it was all it was all come in and tinker around with with stuff and not not really play so yeah yeah we'll start doing some more shows i mean patrick's got a, a record aminal has a record coming out sometime at some point so they'll be touring some and then we'll try to tour some and when he's around and play more <laughs>
much We don't live like I thought we would And it turns out we were wrong to be sure To be sure Cause I can tell you that so Sing
to the snow white and cold in my tiger stripes flies untold taking one by one paper kites funny how the world signs to me up funny how the Signs to me
Oh, 